Starbucks over here. Right. Look at this. I want to get your kicks on these. Looking <laughs> uh, pretty sharp. Another day in NYC. I don't like it. Always full of surprises. You never know what you're going to see out here. I need to get some coffee in me though. I'm on E. So, I'll catch you guys later. Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be discussing the Air Jordan 4 Retros, the Lightnings. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up feel free to leave any comments or questions you may have down below hit that notification box so we have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button we've got some amazing membership perks on there as well as an amazing merch store so head on over to that website after this video is over and check out all of our shade gear that we've got uploaded on there all right so as mentioned earlier we're going to be discussing today the air jordan 4 retro lightnings i have the adult version as well as the grade school version if you did tune in to my live earlier today you will notice there are some discrepancies between the two as far as quality control variation between grade school and between adults just because sometimes the quality is not the same and it's frustrating i don't want you all to have to go and pay resell for a grade school pair if it's just not up to par i mean it's frustrating so all right let me just grab this pair here so we will go through that after we've done the overview of the adult version. Then I'm going to jump into a size and fit on these, followed by styling. This is such a fun pop of color for the summertime. So definitely had some fun styling these with this bright pop of yellow. Then we're going to conclude with how these are doing on the resale market. I know that a lot of people thought that there was going to be a huge amount of stock, uh, but the resale numbers do show that a lot of people are seeking a pair. So definitely stay tuned and stick around to the end to hear about those prices. All right, let's jump into the overview of this sneaker so again for those of you who are unaware this is a retro that came out initially in 2006 that was 15 years ago so for those of you who literally have memories and have been waiting over a decade for this color to re-release it is your time this is your moment it's 15 years, so crazy how long it has taken Jordan to re-release this colorway. And this was definitely a time back in 2006 when this silhouette, specifically the fours, were really just trending. This was huge, this was popular back in the day. And it was really cool because this was a time when Jordan was really obsessed when it came with motorsports. And so they actually had a specific division within the Jordan brand. And the motorsports team was basically asked to create a Jordan for release. And so they decided to create the Thunder and a Lightning version. Um, 
And this is the lightning one that we've waited so long to basically see again. So let's jump into this overview, talk about the bright colors that we've got going on this bright yellow. So for those of you who are wondering the key differences between the OG one that released in 2006, this is a more subdued yellow. It's not as bright, uh, but as far as texture goes, I would say this is pretty high quality leather that they've used on the front of this toe box. Um, and it's very smooth in comparison to the grade school, which which I think is more of a new buck kind of feeling to it. It's a lot more, uh, I would say almost fuzzy in comparison where this is not as fuzzy on the toe box here. And the yellow is slightly different. Doesn't seem to be as high quality on the grade school. Again, you are paying a lot less for this. So I do understand that they probably needed to use some cheaper quality materials. Uh, as far as the netting that we've got in the caging system, we've got that in black. And then we've got just this nice pop of yellow for the tongue and some bright yellow laces that really pop off the black eye stays. And we've got this Jumpman logo and you can see that's very reflective in that nice dark charcoal gray with the light gray for the Jumpman logo on the top there. So let's take a closer peek at those details before we move on to the side panels. to the side panel. So again, we've got more of that bright pop of yellow and we've got that caging system in the black. Moving around to the back, we've got this jump man that's nicely stitched and embroidered around him. And we've got more of that bright pop of yellow that moves along the other side panel of the shoe. And then we've got more of that black netting. The insoles are white with a black jump man and the shoe is then completed with a nice white midsole. And another key difference between the OG and this one is the air bu bubble unit is white versus the air bubble unit in the OG version was black. Then the outsole is then completed with a nice dark gray finish. Let's take a look at those final details. Right, so going back in time, the in 2006, the Air Jordan 4 silhouettes were actually priced at a whopping $115, but the Thunder and Lightning were a little bit steeper because they actually came with some different items. So the Lightning pair, which actually retailed at 250 back in the day, which is kind of a steep price, was paired with a T, while the Thunder was actually a whopping $500, and that is because it came with a matching zip-up jacket, which it's crazy to think back in the day, $500 is like like insane. 
Uh, so definitely 115 is a price point that I would love to pay for these, but they have definitely increased over time. Uh, we did see the Thunders actually re-release in 2012, which was kind of a thought process that the Lightnings would have come a bit sooner, but it looks like we had to wait a little extra time for this same colorway and silhouette to release. But I know that a lot of you are extremely stoked and happy that this has finally come back. All right, so now let's just kind of talk about the gray school versus adults some of the key differences i saw obviously were materials and sizing is a little bit different but um i did go back for those of you wondering because i did have some ink issues i think that there was some of the color of the gray that really bled onto the yellow on my side panels and on the heel luckily this one that i exchanged it for does not have any of those issues definitely highly recommend if you do not look inside the box and walk outside the store and you wait they may not actually accept a return so definitely double check your sneakers before you walk out of the store because you just never know if there's any defects on it uh, quality control issues so definitely glad that i did that live and i was able to pick up on all of those uh, issues that I had all over the shoe. Also, there was some weird thing going on with the side panels. The leather seemed to kind of been wilted on that new buck on the inside. These ones are quite smooth. I don't have any of those issues. So definitely glad that I popped back in there to pick these up. The yellow is just slightly different um, if you look up close. At least that's what I've noticed with the original one. This one actually is looking pretty similar, but um, there's only just slight key differences. I think that the yellow on the adult version is a little bit richer in yellow. Uh, other than that, everything is exactly the same. You even get the same box. I know the OG box was not exactly the same as this. You didn't get the cement with that yellow top. It was kind of an all black version, uh, but definitely excited that this came with a really nicely paired box. All right, so now let's talk about size and fit. So these run true to size. I'm a seven and a half in men's or seven in youth, which I can kind of slightly go down in, but I would say stick true to size, especially if you have narrow feet like myself with high arches. If you do have flat wider feet, this could differentiate a size that works better for you. All right, let's talk about styling. So much fun styling this bright pop of color. Just makes me happy staring at bright yellow and reminds me of honeybees for some reason. Uh, but for the first look that I decided to pair these with, I really wanted to bring out the gray in this. So I wore this nice ruched gray tight fitted dress wrapped around me to the side, which is kind of the trending style right now. I just paired it with a nice kind of cashmere dark charcoal gray sweater, which I think really worked and meshed well with the accents of the charcoal gray in this. Oh yeah, boom. Look, they can never keep me down, I'm going And if I ever fail, just know I'll go again I never quit, cause I know that every loss May lead to another win, I'm going up I bet when I land, they gon' tell me it's luck again See that I'm winning, it's harder to watch I'm setting the stage, you should give me my prize You ain't got a soul, you lacking the spirit You talk out your neck, I'ma show you I'm with it I've been really happy for you to sit and watch me win again And win again and win again I know it's probably getting on me and when I'm sending them So if I ever win again, it's nobody the minimum I didn't have to sell my soul Please don't play no games with me It was never about the fame to me It needed the best so they came to me Whoa. Who the best in this thing? Tell them, yeah, that's me for the second look, I decided to bring some nice hues of yellow out. I didn't want to go too matchy-matchy with the yellow on this one, so I choose I chose a more subdued yellow tone for this t-shirt dress, and then I tied a nice just kind of shirt that also matched that yellow across my waist. I think that pairing this with different yellows is such a great way to kind of mix and match, and it just really vibed well. I then layered that with this really cool cream uh, cargo vest. I think cream colors also just work well for this while we're in the summertime and i think that's a nice way to transition it into the fall and into the spring as well tell them who bring the fire say yeah that's me who make it flip make it bang oh yeah that's me who make the party feel alive tell them yeah that's me i got so proud of your boy when they ask is that your man yeah that's me and if i'm taking a shot i don't miss who knew i would be at the top like this and no one made my goals for me but i'm exactly who i'm supposed to be because it's the path that god chose for me so even if some doors close for me i still All right, so for the last and final look, I decided to wear my Jordan Heat Wave cargo black mesh pants. 
and obviously that black paired perfectly with the black accents in the sneaker and then i top that off with a just simple again subdued yellow t-shirt and around my waist i just tied a nice charcoal gray sweater around there just to kind of pull from the charcoal accent i still won't let y'all close to me so please step back where you're supposed to be put the game all on hold for me and sit back watch me roast the beat uh, it's in my jeans i'm better than i'm in i know my flow's too sick i got the medicine i'm way at the top who can take my place i went too hard can't feel my face who the best in this thing tell them yeah that's me tell them who bring the fire say yeah that's me who make it flip make it bang oh yeah that's me who make the party feel alive tell them yeah that's me whoa yeah oh yeah that's me who that chilling at the top tell them yeah that's me yeah yeah tell them yeah that's me yeah i'm chilling at the top so you let me know down below was the three what was your favorite look out of the three or how would you decide to style these yeah until the day i die ever since you found me we're the only thing i see forever and a day is you and me and they can replicate this unity no pressure i can see i'm watching and they try to do better but you one in a million you ain't average girl i promise i'ma have you living lavish take a trip girl we're about to vanish Cause i'll go anywhere anywhere just as long as you with me because girl i know that you get me so i'll go anywhere About the way they're looking at us Cause I know they wish they had it And they know we doing damage to the game I don't care about the stereotype I can never do it mono We the stereotype I'm talking left, right, link I'm talking left hand ring I'm talking this right here forever We ain't here just for the summer Always on 10 We ain't never had to come up Young right now But we gon' watch the numbers run up Honestly, I love the way you carry it It was an easy decision I had to marry it Honeymoon, I'ma put you on a chariot And they don't make them like you no more No pressure I can see I'm watching and they try to do better But you one in a million, you ain't average Girl, I promise I'ma have you living lavish Take a trip, girl, we're about to vanish Cause I'll go anywhere, anywhere Just as long as you with me Cause girl, I know that you get me So I'll go anywhere Cause I'll go So I'll go anywhere All right, now let's conclude with how these are doing on the resale market. So these retailed for 220 in adult sizing. For those of you who do not know, this is the first time these were actually released in full family sizing. So this was kind of a big, amazing moment. Uh, but for the adult pair, again, these were 220 and currently they're going between 300 to $420, which leaves me to believe that even though there were rumored to be about 120,000 pairs released, these definitely were a little bit harder for most to get just because of that price point that they're going for currently. For the GS pair, these retailed $150 and currently they're going between 170 and 214. All right, so hopefully if you wanted these, you snagged a pair today and copped a W, be sure to let me know down below if you were able to get a W in these or if you took an L. Uh, other than that, that's it for this unboxing and review. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new here today, thanks so much for joining us. Be sure to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. It does mean the world to the channel as well as be sure to leave me any comments or questions that you may have down below. Hit that notification bell because we have so much heat coming out. As you know, I'm probably putting like four videos up today. Uh, so we're going to continue to pump out more content like that throughout this week since I've been a bit behind. Hit that notification bell though so you're alerted as soon as we have all of those videos uploaded to the YouTube space. Be sure as well to check out that join button. We've got some amazing membership perks on there as well as an amazing merch store. All right, that's it for this episode. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you on the next video.